Good Friday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's weather forecast, I'll be covering the cross-country storm that will bring heavy rainfall and a significant severe weather event daily across the United States this weekend. Then a brief cool down this weekend behind the storm system, especially across the Midwest, the Ohio Valley and the Northeast. How cold do temperatures go? We'll detail that in this video, as well as another significant severe weather outbreak possible by the middle of next week. We'll detail those areas later on in today's video. Looking here at the map today, we definitely have that cold front taking shape across portions of the Midwest and into portions of the Central Plains. This will be diving off to the east southeast as we go into Saturday, providing the Mississippi Valley with some scattered showers and storms here as well. And then that will push eastward across the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, all the way south here into the southeast on Sunday before that cold front and that occluding low pressure system will wrap up across the Great Lakes and the East Coast by the time we enter into early next week on Monday. So looking here at the day one of severe weather, this is today on Friday, we have a slight risk of severe storms from southeastern Nebraska down into central Kansas today. This is from the Omaha region all the way southward toward Topeka and Wichita, Kansas through the day today. We have a hatched area for wind, so we could have some hurricane force wind gusts across southeastern Nebraska into central Kansas and we also have a hatched area for hail so we could also see golf ball size hailstones or larger especially into central Kansas today but all areas here are less than 2% for tornadoes so mainly just some extremely strong damaging winds and some very large hail are the main modes of severe weather today and the reason for this we have a strong cold front like I said taking shape across the upper Midwest and the central plains through the day ahead of that cold front, we're going to see summer like temperatures into the low and middle eighties. And those dew points will be creeping back into the fifties as we go into this afternoon, as far North as the Omaha region there in toward Nebraska. And that's going to contribute to at least some weak to moderate levels of Cape convective available potential energy or thunderstorm food needed for thunderstorm development through the day today. And you can see, through much of the afternoon, we don't see much happening here on the future radar, and that is because we have a strong capping inversion. Whenever you have a cap on the atmosphere, that kind of acts as a lid, kind of like a pot of boiling water. If you put a lid on boiling water, all that steam doesn't come out. But as we go through the evening hours, that cap will start to break and erode with the arrival of that strong cold front, and that means some supercell thunderstorms will be breaking out as we go into early this evening around 7 o'clock across southeastern Nebraska through central Kansas, perhaps as far south and west as northwestern Oklahoma here, and they'll really start to billow up through the late evening hours around 10 o'clock. The Omaha region down toward Wichita could get a little bumpy through this evening hours with some hurricane force wind gusts and some very large hail over golf ball size. And then this will kind of turn into more of a heavy rain threat as we get into after midnight as it pushes into western Iowa toward the Kansas City region. So definitely watch out for that after midnight tonight. And then this will really start to fall apart by sunrise on Saturday. But then as we go into Saturday, this system will start to strengthen ever so slightly. We got a nice dip in the jet stream here across the Missouri Valley and on the, uh, the right side of this system, we're going to have enough energy for another significant severe weather outbreak here on Saturday. Tomorrow, we have an enhanced risk, a level 3 of 5 down here in southern Missouri, central portions of Arkansas, including the Little Rock region and all the way south just outside of the Shreveport area in towards northern Louisiana with a slight risk in the yellow here, including the St. Louis area, getting down into Memphis, Tennessee, the Jackson, Mississippi region and then as far south as Baton Rouge and that actually extends into East Texas as well and then a marginal risk even in the dark green extends up into northern Illinois eastern Iowa even into southwest Wisconsin on Saturday for some severe weather. We do have the threat for 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts especially in these yellow and red shaded colors 
across the lower Missouri Valley down into the Arquitex, but we also have to watch out for some large hail as well in this hatched area for hail. We could be seeing golf ball size hailstones or larger, and we have a threat for a few tornadoes, especially around the Little Rock region down uh, through portions of the lower Mississippi Valley into western Mississippi and northeastern Louisiana on Saturday. And you see here, the name of the game is the same here. We have the cold front pushing farther east. The the temperatures will be summer like ahead of that. Again, Chicago will be back in the 80s. St. Louis will be in the 80s. Little Rock even into the lower 80s on Saturday. And those dew points will be creeping well up into the 50s and low 60s going through that Saturday time frame, especially with southward extent into the Arklatex. And that's going to be contributing to some moderate Cape values or instability for thunderstorms. Again, the strongest of those values will be farther south across the lower Mississippi Valley. Valley region. So going through the afternoon on Saturday, not too much happening through much of the morning hours or early afternoon, but it's really by mid to late afternoon, three, four, five o'clock as we go into Saturday late afternoon time frame. We'll start to fire up some scattered supercell thunderstorms along that cold front here across the Arklatex and the Missouri Valley. Those will become more numerous with a massive squall line extending from eastern Iowa, western Illinois, down through Missouri there into the St. Louis area, farther south into Little Rock here. And the southern side of this squall line will be the most intense as it taps into some of the stronger instability that will march its way eastward across the Mississippi Valley here from southern Illinois, west Western Kentucky into Western Tennessee, getting into Central Mississippi there, and even Southeastern Louisiana after midnight on Sunday. And again, some of these storms, even after midnight, could be holding strong with some damaging winds, large hail, and perhaps even some embedded tornadoes as well. And then as we go into Sunday, this trough takes a negative tilt. And as the system really starts to wrap up, we're going to have a lot of wind shear starting to wrap up around the base of this trough with the 500 millibar mid-level jet stream really taking off on Sunday. So we have a marginal, it's a slight risk of severe weather even on Sunday here from the eastern Ohio Valley down through portions of the East Coast and even a higher chance of severe weather in the yellow across south central Georgia into western portions of South Carolina as well. And you see again the same thing here. Temperatures will be back into the 70s ahead of the front, but look at the temperatures behind the system. As it really wraps up on Sunday, we'll be back down to the 30s and 40s across the Western Great Lakes and the upper Midwest on Sunday afternoon. But it's ahead of that cold front. The temperatures will be back into the 50s and 60s for those dew points. And that's going to contribute to at least some modest cape values or instability for Sunday afternoon. So we have that squall line that's going to continue through much of the morning hours on Sunday. That will be marching its way eastward and re-intensifying across the eastern Ohio Valley the eastern Tennessee Valley down into the southeast on Sunday afternoon, and then that will pu uh, push farther to the east through Sunday evening. But you do notice, like I said, the colder temperatures on the backside of the system will be cold enough for some wet snowflakes and even a mix of rain and snow back here into southern Wisconsin, Iowa, getting into portions of northern and central Illinois here into Sunday evening. And that could contribute to maybe a couple inches worth of snow. Now, I do think the NAM model is a little bit too aggressive with the snowfall amounts, especially in the United States here across Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Illinois. So I do think a dusting up to two inches could be possible across portions of the UP of Michigan, especially the western UP of Michigan, down through much of Wisconsin, eastern portions there of Minnesota, including the Twin Cities region, Rochester, Minnesota, getting down into Iowa. Iowa here, and then portions of far northern Illinois near the Illinois-Wisconsin state line. Dusting to two inches will be possible Sunday night into Monday morning across those areas. Maybe just enough to shovel in some localized spots. That will definitely be something to watch out for. But this rainfall will be moving in as well. So we have some heavy rainfall with the system, not just the snow on the backside. This will be dumping some heavy rain across especially the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes regions. These areas could be seeing upwards of an inch of rain and then all the way down the Mississippi Valley to the Gulf Coast here 
We could be talking about over an inch of rain through the Little Rock region, getting down into New Orleans, maybe a couple more inches of rain for you through Monday morning. And that could contribute to some flash flooding concerns, especially this weekend. Most of the rainfall will be falling Saturday into Sunday from the mid-Mississippi Valley down into the lower Mississippi Valley region. So places like St. Louis, Little Rock, Memphis, down here into portions of Jackson, Mississippi, New Orleans, Shreveport. Just watch out for some flash flooding potential this weekend. But like I said, behind this system, we are going to be cooling down in a big way. 20 to 30 degrees below normal we go on Sunday afternoon across the western United or the western Great Lakes region. And then that will push across the Great Lakes into the Ohio Valley and then inching its way eastward into portions of the Mid-Atlantic with those 10 to 20 degree below, zero, uh, below normal temperatures as we go into Monday on early next week. So definitely something to keep an eye on with that brief cool down but i definitely appreciate it guys watching the video uh definitely again make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel um again i do daily weather forecast breakdowns here for southern canada the united states and the tropics so make sure you subscribe down below and don't forget to slap that like button press the like button down below definitely helps out more than you know but as we go into early next week we got another system we're keeping an eye on as we have southerly flow returning across the central great plains here Temperatures will be back into the 80s, if not middle 80s here across Kansas, getting into the Texas Panhandle on Tuesday, and even some 90s returning across West Texas here into Western Oklahoma on Wednesday, early next week. And that's as another significant trough will be pushing across the Pacific Northwest on Tuesday. That'll be slowly moving across the Northwestern United States on Wednesday, middle of next week, and then starting to push even farther east towards the upper Midwest by the time we get into third. Thursday, April 20th, late next week. And this is going to be our next significant jet stream. We'll have to be eyeing up for the potential for severe weather by the middle and late portion of next week as we have a big, significant jet stream moving in across the middle of the country. We got the moisture return out ahead of that on Wednesday and especially into Thursday as we see those 60 degree dew points surging back up into Illinois, portions there of the St. Louis region, maybe even southeastern Iowa on Thursday. Day. And already seven days out, the Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk of 15% shading for severe storms across western Missouri, southeastern Kansas, getting down into Oklahoma here, including the Tulsa, Oklahoma City areas, and then just north of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex near the Red River there across the Sherman, Texas area as we go through the day on Thursday. And you can see with that cold front on Thursday, the trend is late afternoon and early evening hours, we could be seeing some scattered supercells capable of all severe hazards, including isolated tornadoes. We definitely will be keeping an eye on this and possibly a snowstorm again toward the middle of April here late next week across the Twin Cities region into northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, and that could extend farther west into the eastern Dakotas as well. Too early to know how much snow could fall with this, but definitely something to keep an eye on over the next few days. Well, if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter for additional weather forecast updates. It's down below in the description. Click on it and follow me. It's HWeather420. Definitely much appreciated. And thank you all for watching the video today. Again, much appreciated. Remember to like the video. Give me a thumbs up down below. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. And hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Friday, everybody. A great rest of your weekend. And I will see you all in the next video.